Welcome back to another edition of Aspire TV. Today, we have a special guest. She is inspiring dancer, actress. She's done a little of everything. Um, and she, uh, Yina, and she has um, so much to offer uh, to any of the producers out there looking for a great actress. Um, and we'll, we'll give her IMBD um, at the end, right, DB? At the end, uh, but right now, let's get to it. Welcome, Ina. How are you? Hi. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Ina, um, well, let's uh, tell us a little bit about who you are, and so the viewers understand and um, where you grew up and all that. So tell them all about it. Sure. Uh, I grew up in North California, uh, North Side San Jose area, and I went to school and college. I went to University of San Francisco. Graduated. I did. Welcome back to another edition of Aspire TV. Today we have an amazing woman with some great background of uh, in acting and dancing. Today we have Ina Fisher, and we're welcoming her from California. Hi, Ina. Hi. How are you doing, Cynthia? Very good, thank you. We're excited for you to hear, um, be here. What's the weather like in LA? Oh, it's hot. It has been really, really hot these days. Just like New Hampshire, I understand. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, with the viewers watching today, can you tell us a little bit about where you were born and where you grew up and uh, what's a little bit about your background? Yeah, I grew up in Northern California. I went to school and college uh, in Northern California, San Jose. And I went to University of San Francisco and graduated in computer science. But I have been acting since my childhood. Acting is my passion and dancing. I have been dancing since I was three years old and I've been acting since I was five years old. So acting is my passion. I have worked always on stages and theaters and, and films. Well, you say you grew up in California. What's that accent from? Oh, it's because my uh, my family is from East India. India. Yes. How exciting! Have you been there? Of course. Well, you know, some people have a you know a certain uh, nationalities, but they have been to the country. So, well, yeah. that's wonderful. Well, uh, what, what do you like best? What would you say India is best known for? Well, India is best known for its culture, like uh, fashion. Uh, costumes and jewelry, food, and uh, they're very interesting people, actually. <laughs> awesome. And so the, and uh, would you say, what would you recommend and where would you recommend people to go in India? Um, I think uh, my <laughs> favorite place is Agra, where Taj Mahal is, and Jaipur, Udaipur, which is part of Rajasthan where the history lies, like a lot of historical places are there, but it's so beautiful to see. And it looks so beautiful in the evening. Like if you go in the evening mm -hmm. and you see valley are surrounded with mountains and the valley is uh, in interior and it is surrounded with hills and mountains. It looks wow, so, how beautiful. And you, see, you look like, you see like you're standing on the top and you're seeing the whole city. Wow, that sounds amazing. Uh, it's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I can picture it. You just telling me about it. Yeah. Well, let's talk about your role. So you're an actress uh, now, and uh, let's tell the uh, viewers some of the movies or TV shows or uh, commercials you've done, so they can say, "Oh yeah, I remember that." Mm -hmm. Sure. Uh, well, I have worked in very, very good films, such as uh, "Just Like Heaven" with Reese with a spoon, and I played the role of seamstress. And what was that like working with her? Oh my God, you won't believe it. I was all by myself with her and with Mike. Um, and uh, so we were three, four people and working on the dry cleaning um, center because it's a, it was a scene of dry cleaning. And I was a seamstress and I, I worked three, four days on that scene. That's so nice. Was, so you got to talk with her and hang out with her? Yeah, right. That's nice. And, it and was then, so what are some of the other movies? I saw one that I recognized. I didn't know I was pregnant. That was a Lifetime movie or something, wasn't yeah, it? No, it, uh, I didn't know if I was pregnant. That is a TV show. It was a TV show. And I played the role of nurse. 
Um, so it was uh, it was exciting to work on that set as well. Yeah, I bet. And quickly, what are some of the other TV shows you worked on? I worked on House Divided. I just played the role of nurse again recently. I think last year. And I worked on Milk as a teacher with um, Sean Penn. Um, what was I, it like working with him? He is so cool, very nice. And I, I was <laughs> hoping, of course, I would get this role. And I did work, um, so which is exciting, you know. And, and he's easy to work with. Was he the producer as well? or Because he um, produced a lot of his films. I, I'm not sure if he was the producer, but no, it was produced by someone else. But he was the lead actor and he won the award for it. He got the best actor award for it. Wow, that's amazing. So yeah. we, um, now, uh, what are some of the roles that you would like to play that you haven't played yet? And go ahead. Well, uh, I have played as a doctor, I have played as a cop. I have played as a nurse, I have played as a teacher, I have played yeah. as a mom. A, in the film The American Dream, I played uh, Colette Jones as a yeah. mom. And uh, um, I have played as a vampire as well. So I'm not sure like what else is left out there. <laughs> of course. Well, it sounds like you've done a lot of versatile roles, right? Yeah, I did. I have done a lot of work. Now, tell me some of the people you've been under. Have you been on under studies, any uh, training on such for acting? I'm sorry, what do you mean by that? Well, I mean, where did you, I mean, you went to school for computer science, has nothing to do with acting. So how yeah. did you learn acting? Well, I went to acting as well. I went to acting uh, while I was studying and I took part-time classes, acting for TV and films. Mm -hmm. um in chase school and a lot of schools in la as well mm -hmm. you know so let me ask you um have you been an actress all you want your adult life and have you done other jobs besides that or do you just make a living after being an actress no i have worked uh as an engineer as well and i have taken classes oh, as an engineer have, wow. yes okay yes so that, that, that makes big money. So, I mean, to, yeah. which probably makes up for, so you can be your actress on the side. Right. right? So yeah. I can, I have saved, so I can totally focus on acting. So for the last two years, like I'm dedicating myself just for acting. Well, it must be tough because of the pandemic that hit. Dedicating yourself this year, it's like, how do I do that with the whole pandemic going on, right? It is right. It is hard, but I, it gives you time to work on it. Like you can work on your creative side of it because you're staying home. And, but the thing it is, it is still hard because you're juggling into so many things and you have to have time for every single thing. Well, I mean, if people are interested in hiring you and seeing your, uh, seeing your headshot and your work and everything. Can you give them your IMDB, right? Is that what it is? Yeah, sure. IMDB link. Um, yeah, please help uh, give them my IMDB link. And I'm on Facebook. What you got to tell them? You got to say it so they know. Oh. Uh, what is your IMDB link? Uh, I think uh, it comes like Ina Fisher, which is Y-E-E-N-A-F-I-S-H-E-R. And uh, if they search on IMDb, they will be finding me. Okay. And um, and the last, because uh, I, I know we're running out of time already, uh, can you tell us um, what is the movie that I've been interviewing, like different act um, talent, as well as the producers and directors on, can you tell us the name of the movie and what role you're going to be playing and then when they'll expect to hopefully see the movie? Well, uh, currently I am working on Bucks of America and I will be playing the role of Mrs. Pillsbury and uh, it is in pre-production and soon it's going to be in production and 2021 June, it should be out. Oh, and I look forward to covering that. I'll be flying into LA for the red carpet. I'm excited for that. I well, know. it's been a pleasure interviewing you. Um, you're a wonderful person. I will be hopefully meeting you in September um, I'll be getting together with some of the cast over at the Roosevelt, uh, 729. So, uh, folks that are tuning in, je definitely check out her IMDb and see her, her work history. And um, she's always looking for a new role to play. And uh, she's always interested in new, um, you know, projects, right? So, uh, yeah. 
from our from our living room or office or or house uh, to yours. Thanks for tuning in today. Please be sure to check out Aspire TV and Aspire Magazine on Facebook. Till next time. Bye, folks. Bye. Bye, Cynthia. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye-bye.